And there's going to be a death that you're going to have to go through that only you can go through. God can't force you to go through. You're going to have to be willing to go down the narrow path. Isaiah calls it the highway of holiness. 1 Corinthians 12 says, Paul says, everyone has been distributed various ministries and gifts. So your gift doesn't look like mine, but your gift comes from the same God that we serve. It's the very simple things that bring pleasure to the kingdom. It's not the big things. Like, you don't do what Pastor Frank does, right? But your ministry, right, could literally be discipling a young man, discipling a young lady, teaching her the scriptures, teaching her how to love the Lord. She could be the next Billy Graham. There are people who have behind the scene ministries, and then there are people who have upfront ministries. The Lord doesn't necessarily always keep you in hiding though, right? David wasn't always in hiding. Eventually he took the throne, but he was in hiding for a season. He was running for, he was running for his life. Doesn't mean that he wasn't the king. Just because you don't have an upfront ministry does not mean that heaven is not backing what you do. Everything you do for the Lord matters. Everything. But to go from ankle deep to knee deep to waist deep determines how much you're willing to die. To go into other regions and territories you need more than power. You need more than the power gifts. You can have them. But if you don't got no authority, you're in trouble. And there's a difference between power and authority. Like I said, witches and warlocks have power. But they don't have authority. And that's what the enemy's after. He's after your authority. Why do you think he came up? Why do why you think he got up ahead of an Eve business? Listen, I need that title deed that y'all got. I can't do nothing in this earth unless you hand over your title deed. But see, if you don't know the authority that you have in Christ, the enemy will use a lesser power to oppress and to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. So how do you gain more authority in the spirit? You lay your life down as often as you can. The enemy uses the tools that he uses to rob you of authority is offense. If he can get your heart to be bent towards someone else that begins to brew unforgiveness, resentment, he has taken your authority. Anytime, because people will offend you. It's inevitable. You can't dodge it. You can't escape it. You will be offended in the church. You will be offended outside the church. But it's all about how pure can you keep your heart? The Beatitudes say in Matthew 5, Blessed are the pure in heart. Guess what your reward is if you keep your heart pure? You get to see God. Notice, no one else sees God, only the pure in heart. But to actually go into other regions, into other cultures, dealing with people who have built their entire life off the power of the enemy, you need to know and have an understanding that if you have not been sent to go there, you better stay your tail home. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm scared of the devil. That, no, that's called wisdom. It's called the fear of the Lord. The first person Jesus revealed himself to post-resurrection was a woman, was Mary of Magdalene, and she was sent to tell the others, go and tell them, I'm alive, I'm alive. Because today is a new day. I, I don't want to know the God of yesterday, I want to know the God of today, the God of the now, the God of the present. Yes, even though he's the same today, yesterday, forevermore, there are many facets to him that he wants to present to you today. And you could have stayed in your bed this morning, but you're here. So God has something for you. Because he says, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled. Will be. 
not maybe, will be filled. 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 With his power and his presence. Come on, he's on something to you right now. He's touching you. I see him. I see angels moving back and forth through the aisles. If you just peer in just a little. 